What up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Couch Chat. So there's a lot of boss babes out there that'll try to convince you that at the end of the day, they don't need a man, they can do everything themselves, and that if push comes to shove, they're fine and happy being alone the rest of their lives. Let me tell you something. That is not true. So as you guys know, I do film stuff out here in LA, and I did an event this past weekend that was a women's event, and it was held by one of my friends, and she's the person who's in the space of helping other professional women in the entertainment figure out how to do like social media things and whatnot, right? So uh, I go there, and uh, they're setting up, and one of my other friends is also there, and, and she's setting up stuff, and a lady comes over to her and starts asking her about, oh, you know, what are you helping, helping out with the event? What are you doing? You know, how are you helping out? And so my friend starts talking and gushing on about what she's doing and how she's helping. And then she said that her husband, who's also a friend of mine, uh, he was also there. He was there uh, helping them put stuff together for the event on top of, uh, I think one of his sisters had helped with some of the, the wording and phrasing and logos for the freebies that they were giving away, right? So she was like, yeah, my husband's here and he's helping out and he's built this and blah, 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 blah. And she's just beaming with pride talking about how much her husband helped out and how he's been a great help to her in the event, whatever. So this other lady says, oh, you know, I'm also married and my husband did this and this and this and blah, 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 blah. He's been in these spaces. And I'm sitting there looking at these two women and they are both just gushing on and on about how great their guys are and how they're able to help out in these very masculine type ways. And it reminds me that at the end of the day, regardless of what women say or how they're feeling in the moment about I'm cool being single, whatever, that that's really what the majority of women are striving for is they're striving to be able to get a man that they can go and then brag about that man to their other friends and say, I have a man in my life that finds me worthy enough to be taken care of. Because what you'll also notice in these spaces, if you are observant, is, and most guys will get to get in just all women's spaces, right? So we only get the word of the women we're talking to, which is, oh, I don't need a man, yada, yada, yada. When you go into a space that is full of all women, and you see married women talking about their husbands, and then you see the single women there listening to those women talk about their husbands, the response back is always, I wish I had a man like that. I wish I could find somebody to be with that would take me that seriously. Or you can just tell in their eyes, it's like, I can't even be part of this conversation of a guy doing me right and taking care of me. And so, you know, there's much to be said about it, th that's partially men's fault and that's also partially women's faults. But to the point is, I want you as a guy to understand that if you're getting nervous and apprehensive around women or think you can't approach them, recognize that they are hoping for that. And so you might just be the guy that comes up to them and starts a conversation that could potentially result in her being in a situation where she's now able to go to her girlfriends and tell a story about what a great husband, i.e. you, are to her, all right? But there are plenty of women out there, unfortunately, that just don't get approached. Pretty women, average women, whatever, you're thinking, I don't wanna you know, risk making a fool of myself, but for them, the greater risk is I'm gonna end up alone and not be able to be around my women friends who have men and I'm not gonna be able to relate to them anymore because I'm still single and they figured it out, all right? There's, a, there's more of a fear for them about that than you. And so, again, argument can be made if you're approaching women and they're you know, being apprehensive or they're trying to brush you off or whatever. This is why it's important to really learn the ins and outs of how to approach women correctly, how to talk to them, how to ask them for dates, but also how to show up in a leadership capacity, how to show that you have confidence in your ability to take care of them. Because ultimately, if you do that stuff, the, re the, the reward is that you can find a woman that is gonna be all in on you because she's gonna wanna be all in on you in the hopes that you're gonna be all in on her because ultimately at the end of the day, most women, regardless of what they say, want to be in a relationship, want to be in something long-term, want to be married, but more importantly, want to be able to stunt for their other female friends who may already be married. So I just wanted to put that out there. But anyway, guys, hopefully you've learned something from that. If you need more help on how to become a more confident guy so you can get out there and get these women that are single, because yes, guys, there are plenty of solid, well-to-do women out there that are single that need you to approach them and you're not. If you wanna know how to do that, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and check out some of my programs and or sign up for coaching. That's all I got. I'm Harry Wilmington and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out, peace.